Welcome to our Clarity and Focus session here at Consulting Unleashed. Uh, we are talking about one of my favorite topics. This is a strategy or this is an idea uh, that was shared with me uh, quite a few years ago. But, but this one idea is something that uh, will be a game changer for a lot of you if you actually understand what it is I'm going to be sharing with you. And it's really simple. Um, so this is a five-step uh, process. Uh, if you follow these five steps, if you uh, nail uh, the, the steps, then you will have more clients than you can ever imagine. Uh, you'll be more busier. You'll be very, very focused. Uh, you'll be actually driven towards uh, your outcomes of putting cash in your bank account and more importantly, helping more people out there to benefit from the products or the services you offer. Uh, so just, to, just a little bit of uh, uh, housekeeping here. Um, uh, this is uh, an interactive session. So one of the things I'm encouraging you to do, if you don't have it right now, get yourself a microphone, right? Get yourself a mic, uh, a headset with a mic on it uh, or a microphone or use the microphone on your keyboard because I'm going to be asking questions. I'm going to be unmuting you uh, and answering questions directly. So what I want to help uh, as many people as possible with today is I want to be able to coach you directly in this session so that you can apply this stuff. This, uh, this session that I run every single day is very interesting. Uh, uh, we do record these sessions. These sessions are going to be placed in our Facebook group and uh, the Consulting Unleashed Facebook group. If you're not a member, uh, make sure you go and join that group. It is free to join. Uh, it, uh, we are posting these on our YouTube channel at Consulting Unleashed every single day uh, and we are running these sessions every day. So, uh, so know that I am here same time, same bat channel every single day, talking about strategy, structure, and what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one interface here live to help you personally to be able to move forward and get the results that you're looking for uh, in, uh, in your business. So uh, I, the reason I'm doing this is because right now, everybody in our game, anybody who's supporting the growth of businesses, uh, you are in high demand. Let me tell you, there are people looking for you everywhere on this planet. Uh, that, are, that are in business. There's a bunch of businesses right now that are now realizing they've had to pay attention to online and they need your help. Uh, there's a bunch of businesses that have to change the way they've been online because of what's gone on and what's happened uh, as an impact to their business and they need your help desperately in the marketplace. Uh, the Batman reference gives your age away. <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> same time, same bad channel. Uh, so that was a uh, TV show from the 60s and the 70s. Uh, Batman. Uh, Adam West, I think, was Batman at that time. And uh, every at the end of every episode, they used to say, same time, same bat channel. So it was like every night of the week. Uh, so that, I guess that's where that comes from. Yes, I am showing my age. Uh, uh, but I don't think I'm that old anyway. Well, I don't feel that old. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the key part of uh, these sessions is uh, to give you a little bit of focus, give you some clarity, give you some actual steps and, and things that you can do to go and get the results. Now, we've had a lot of people, we've been, I've been doing this now, I think I'm coming into my third week uh, of every day, but we've had quite a few people actually make sales and get results and share their results here in the group. So whilst people have been coming to this uh, on a daily basis, and I see a lot of our familiar faces here, um, uh, a lot of people are taking action, which is good to see. But like I said, my purpose here is to try and help you move forward, make better decisions with what you're doing, get better messaging out there, better conversion strategies. Uh, and the only way that I can do that is to engage you directly. And with that, by engaging you directly, you're also going to be helping a whole bunch of other people to realize what some of the opportunities and what some of the things that they can do uh, uh, for their businesses. So I'm, going to, I'm about to share uh, my iPad because I like kind of drawing on the iPad while I'm uh, doing these live sessions so we can do some interactive action. Uh, but we're going to be covering a, one of my favorite topics because I think it makes uh, it can make the biggest difference or the most significant impact on your business if you get this concept. So I'm going to be sharing my uh, screen. Uh, I can see you up. So by the way, just so I know that you're here, can you just type one on your keyboard if you can hear uh, me okay? Just type one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go to, you should be seeing my iPad on the screen right now. So I'm just going to open up the chats over here in the corner. I know that this blocks part of the screen. A uh, bunch of people just type one, one, one. Awesome, great. Steve Miller, good to have you here. On Andrew Suva, nice to have you here. Trent Velasco, I thought you were on vacation, dude. Uh, I don't even know why you're here if you're on vacation. You sent me a beautiful email telling me that you can't uh, uh, run a strategy just in case it's too successful uh, and you're supposed to be holidaying and recharging. 
uh, so mate, you should be holidaying recharging. You're getting up very early in the morning to be with me. So, uh, so, uh, but thank you again for being here. Mark uh, um, uh, uh, got an appointment from his Facebook group. Uh, uh, just got one lead, awesome. Brandon, Brandon, good to see you here, man. Nice to have you here on this call. Okay, so uh, these are clarity and focus sessions. I wanna cover one particular thing. This thing that I'm gonna share with you will speed up the process of making sales if you understand. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna unpack this, uh, these, these things and then we can open to uh, discussions with the group. So uh, these are what we call the five ones, right? Now, a guy called Clay Collins, who was the founder of Lead Pages, also had an amazing project called Project Mojave, uh, uh, helped to innovate, create uh, and build uh, some incredible businesses back uh, uh, back a number of years. I'm talking probably uh, 12 years ago. Uh, but then he went and built lead pages and now he is the owner of Drip, uh, which is an email marketing uh, autoresponder uh, system as well. And he turned lead pages into an $80 million company. This is before ClickFunnels came along. But he had this idea. He says, one avatar, one product offering, one conversion strategy, one traffic source and one plan, right? Five ones, one, 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 right? So an avatar uh, is a who is your market, right? An avatar is a who, uh, a product is a what, right? A conversion strategy is a which, uh, a traffic source, sorry, a conversion strategy is a how, uh, a, one traffic source is a which, and one plan is a what, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk, walk through each of these things that you need to take into consideration because if you get this working for you, then you don't need anything else, right? Because you actually will have a very simple structure to follow to open the door to generating clients, right? Uh, to give you a perspective, the people that I coach in the Consulting Champions Group, uh, more than 30% of those people had the best month in the history of their company in March because of this strategy, because of this idea of the five ones. Let's keep it simple. Focus on a market, focus on a product offering, focus on a conversion strategy to help people buy that product, focus on a traffic source of where we can generate leads and focus on a plan uh, that we wanna work towards uh, within a, a set period of time, right? Uh, some people that are in the five ones, the plan section is over the next 12 months. I wanna bring the plan over the next two weeks. I wanna bring the plan to the next two weeks till the end of April, uh, coming to the 1st of May. So the idea for every single person who is here right now, you should be able to generate one paying customer in the next, over the next two weeks. One paying client, that's your goal, right? If we looked at the plan section, one new paying customer within the next two weeks. Some of you will achieve that in the next 24 hours. Some of you might take three or four days. Some of you might take the full two weeks to get, the, to, the, to get that customer. The goal in your business right now, ultimately you should be doing one customer every 10 days. That's three customers per month on average. If you're adding three clients a month on average to your, to your business, you are flying. Three clients, you're flying, right? Uh, because that's going to be a game changer. Because by month three, you're going to be dealing with nine clients. And at nine clients, you're going to be busy. You're going to be hiring, right? That's the, that's the philosophy and that's the goal, right? So let's talk about the avatar, right? Um, right now, a lot of people uh, have uh, struggled with this whole, you know, who do I sell to, right? You know, so part of that is, is we, all, we all should know what we're offering. Right? We all should know what we're offering as a service. And we don't want to offer more too many services. If you, if so some people here, so I'm just going to ask you to put a two, uh, just so I can hear you. Who here does uh, uh, like three things, like SEO, AdWords, websites, copywriting, funnel? Who does more than, more than three things? Three or more things, three or more things. Tim, you do three or more things. Who else? Just type in two in the keyboard if you do three or more things. Adam says, yep, I do three or more things. Chris says, yeah, I do two things. James, two, three or more things. Two bundled into one, okay. But if you're doing three services or more, three services or more, just type two in the, in the, in the keyboard here. Okay, we've got a few people. So I want you to pick, right, one, one of the three or more services you provide, one service, but that service has to be relevant to what people need in business right now. So right now, there are three things that people need to be doing in business right now. So I want you to think what service I'm providing, right, that will impact on one of these three things, right? Number one, right, I need to have my customers stay and pay. Number one, I've got to communicate, market, make an offer, let people know uh, I need my customers to stay and pay. That's number one, right? So what strategies do you have? What offer do you have that keeps customers staying and paying? Number two, right, I have to go and 
craft a message and a campaign and an offer to my entire network, all my lists, all my social media, all my uh, things. I've got to craft an offer uh, to the market to let people know that I'm still in business. That's number two, right? So you've, got, you've already got a market. And number three is how am I letting the entire local market know that I'm open? So for business. So what strategy do you have or what service do you have that helps businesses to let people know that they're open? So those three things right now from a, from a, uh, if you think where businesses are at right now, they're in security and safety. I've got to secure cash. I've got to keep my employees employed. I've got to be servicing the market. I've got to stay in business, right? That's where people's heads are at. They're not aspirational. They're not thinking about, Hey, I want to blow my business up. But I want to grow. They're not thinking about that, right? They're thinking about what have I got to do? What are my options right now to stay in business? So if you think about your service offering, how does your service offering relate to then staying in business, right? So that's, so we have an offer. Now I want to get back to the who, the audience, right? If you have a, a niche, if you have a niche, sorry, if you don't have a niche, if you haven't targeted a niche, just type three in the keyboard. Just type three on the keyboard in the chat, just put three. If you're struggling, if you haven't got a niche, I'm going to show you how to find niches really fast, right? If you're struggling, so you need, so all of you need to pick one offer of the things you provide, Right, and we want to align that offer to either helping customers stay and pay, helping uh, customer, helping communicate a message to their network that they need to make offers, and making sure that they let the local market know that they are still open for business. So, whatever your service is that supports those three things right now, uh, then that's the thing you want to choose as your offer. The who is who's going to benefit the most. So, right now, if you haven't chosen a niche or you're struggling to choose a niche. Just type the word three, just sorry, three. Type the number three in the, in the chat so that I can see who is looking for a niche, right? Who is looking for a niche? Just type three in the chat. If, you're, if you can hear this or see this, uh, just type three. Uh, Adam, yes, absolutely. I'll say yes to that niche, landscape gardeners, yeah, or landscape design, absolutely. Type three, so everybody's got a niche. So if you've got a niche, type one in the keyboard, I've got a niche. Type one on the keyboard. One, 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 one. James has got one. Tim's got one. Steve's got one. Awesome. If you've got a niche, that's awesome. So there's only one person who's struggling for the niche. Uh, I, I'll talk about pivoting in the moment. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Okay. One, one, one. Okay. We've got some niches. Andrew's got a niche. Brandon's got a niche. Awesome. You've got niches. Okay. So if you've got niches, think about, right? Think about what you do right now that will have an impact on their business in relation to where they're at. How do I stay in business? How do I keep my employees employed? How do I keep cash flow coming in, right? What are my options? Am I uh, keeping my existing customers staying and paying? Am I, uh, am I making sure I need to let know all my customer base and my networks know that I'm uh, open for business and can work in a COVID-19 uh, uh, scenario? So I'm accepting customers. And number two, how am I actually letting the wider market know that I am open? Those are the three things you're going to make a direct impact on in any business of where they're at right now in terms of what they need to do, right? That's the message, right? So the avatar, how does your avatar, how does your thing align with the avatar's need? So for example, if you're in the health niche right now and you're dealing with chiropractors and physical therapists and osteopaths and all those sorts of people, uh, there are a lot of rules uh, that they've had to endure because they can't, a lot of states are closing those businesses down uh, because they can't touch people. But there's a whole new industry opening up called telehealth. There is a way to deliver telehealth and, and also insurance companies have opened the window to paying for the insurances for people who take advantage of the telehealth idea. So one of your offers to the market is how can we get you to, to uh, do telehealth uh, uh, so telehealth may be meaning uh, on a Zoom or a Skype or uh, on, a, on a video connection with your customer uh, and you're actually uh, treating that patient virtually rather than treating the patient physically and getting paid for that consultation. So that industry, the health industry, has the opportunity to pivot. So right now, if, you're, if you can't physically accept a patient unless it's an emergency, would you, are you interested in making sure that patients can still choose you over a competitor because you can actually service them in a telehealth environment? And let me tell you, there's a whole bunch of insurance companies that still pay uh, for that service. And if we let our current customers know uh, with that opportunity, uh, James says telehealth.com, yeah. If they let our current customers know that they have that opportunity, then you're open to doing appointments, right? Uh, and treatment appointments, which means you've got cash flow coming in. Can I talk to you about how we can market or, or, or share that opportunity, some things you can do. But two, what if we invited the market to let the market know that they can come to you virtually, right? There's an opportunity, right? So, the, so that's the health market, right? That's, the health market has to pivot, 
right? Um, uh, if we're in, so the hot niches right now are finance, insurance, short term money lending, um, uh, uh, anything health related right now, e commerce. It's huge, especially uh, uh, um, tech products, health products, fitness equipment. That's a huge mar market right now. Right. Um, uh, training right now, huge training organizations that do, uh, sorry, training. They do vocational, so career change or certification. Those sorts of companies. So here's some niches you can go after. And by the way, there's a whole bunch of sub niches in the marketplace. So if we know, if we know who our avatar is, right, then we've got to look at what our offer is, right? Remember I asked you this question, what's the clear offer that you're offering to the market? Pick one thing that is relevant. Right. So, so if you were thinking the question that I, uh, that I asked, by the way, other niches that I'll put in here would be law, accounting, um, uh, uh, what else? Um, huh, furniture going through the roof, especially office furniture, home office, right? Growing market, working from home. Uh, anybody that supports the work from home market, is huge, right? Lots of niches, lots of niches need you. These are recession-proof niches. So if you're pivoting a niche, then you can pick the, the, the uh, recession-proof niches to pivot to, right? Your offer, I knew this was gonna happen. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay, your offer, right? What are we offering to the market? Think. Let me just kill some of these windows. My apologies. Let's get back to Bob. So we should be there. Uh, so what are people right now? What is the offer, right? I know help. I know people want help right? People need help right now. They don't need uh, products to buy, right? That's what people want. But how are you helping them? How are you helping them uh, work on those three areas of their business, right? Visibility, direct offers to let people know to accept uh, business right now and to help people stay and pay. How are you, what is your offer? What is the one offer, right? So right now, SEO is huge. Uh, Google my business, business GMB if you're not in local STO and you can't be found on GMB you've got a problem because right now I know when I'm looking for a service the first thing I'm looking for now and I don't know if other people experience this right now the first thing I'm looking for is location so I go and open my Google Maps on my phone and I go and look for the business to see if it's open open or closed and so if it's closed, I just go to the next business and look for the one that's open, right? So now, how do I find that? I'm finding that on Google My Business, right? On, on the maps, yeah? Um, I'm using maps as a search, especially my local market. So if, you can't, if your business is locally directed and you can't be found locally on Google My Business, you've got a problem. Because 67% of the traffic, 67% of the traffic goes to that three listings on Google My, in, in Google. 67% of the traffic goes there. The rest of the traffic goes to the paid source, right? So if you, GMB, very, very important. If you're offering SEO, SEO is good, right? Um, AdWords, right? Um, right now, people need to see you, need visibility. Right, are you open for business? 
So how do I let people know? I've got to advertise. So AdWords right now are getting cheaper. Facebook ads, more than 25% cost uh, drop in Facebook ads right now. Getting cheaper. Instagram ads, if you're a product-based business, you've got, to be, you've got to be on Instagram like crazy. It's cheaper to advertise more than ever before. The key here is if you're not letting the market know that you're open, they can't find you. The people that are actually increasing their advertising spend are the ones that are getting the phone calls. I sent a message, I, sent a, a, I shared a story yesterday where I was watching a thing on TV where they were talking about businesses that have been impacted by uh, the coronavirus and they were talking to an electrician. They had like 15 team members. They were furloughing people. They were laying people off. Uh, they were trying to keep some people employed. They were giving people less hours to make sure their doors are open. And the very first set words that he said, yep, we're cutting costs. Uh, we've stopped advertising. We've stopped all that advertising and marketing. We've cut all that costs. And then in, in that conversation, he says, yeah, and it's really funny. Since coronavirus has happened, uh, especially this week, uh, all of a sudden we've noticed that our phones aren't ringing anymore. So we're really struggling to stay in business. Well, hey, dickhead, you just turn your advertising off, right? You've just shut your advertising. And of course, if they can't find you, they can't call you. I know electricians that are actually flat out right now. They're super, super busy. So the, so the very thing that he said that he wanted, he cut back. If he switched his ads on again, those phones would ring and he'd be keeping his team members busy, right? So you need right now, if you need to be uh, have the local market aware of being gaining access to you, you have no choice. You have to advertise. Because if you're not advertising, how the hell are people going to know that you're open? They're not, you know, they don't know right now there's a thing that's happening in the next three months or two to three months called the mini boom, right? And there's going to be a situ situation. This is what's going to happen, right? So we've got, there's people that are doing one of three things. One, they're out. There's 30% of the market right now that you know, is literally not coming back, right? One third of businesses right now will not last the next two or three months in the current uh, situation. They are gone. Let all their people go, shut their doors, gonna go and get a job or try and get a job, right? The second group of people, they're gonna try and stay open to the market, right? They're hanging in, hanging in. That's the second group of people. And there's other group of people who are saying, um, uh, let's do some stuff, right? Right, these people here, they're getting cash in the door, sales. They're making sales right now. Even in this time, they're making sales because they pivoted in their own business, right? They're making money. These people here need to keep my doors open, got to hang in. So really, my question is, what is this market doing, right, to let people know that we are open? Because if you don't, right, what's going to happen is see this gap? between here and here, right? This is the gap in the market that's open. So if you're letting people know that you're open and you're opening or you're being open between now, so we're talking about the next uh, two to three months, right? So customers have come back to work. People have come back into the marketplace. They're gonna to start to buy services. So if you shut doors, right, you're out. So there's a gap. Where, are the, where is that customer who was originally coming to you, where are they gonna go? They have to go and find somebody else that's open. They have to find this gap here, right? That's open, right? So if you're not advertising, you're not promoting and they can't find you, you're screwed. So very important factor. You've got to let people know that you're open. You've got to be running some ads, right? Uh, so Facebook AdWords works brilliantly. Retargeting works brilliantly, especially if you're trying to do the messaging to keep people in the loop of coming back to, to what you're doing in the marketplace. So understand right here, right? Uh, what are you offering, right? So AdWords, Facebook, going to work. Google My Business, SEO, going to work. Um, landing pages, websites, you know. Right now, landing pages, websites need to change. So our website builders need to, we've got a lot of work to do. Copywriters, right? Copy. Email systems. Right, email marketing. Very busy, right? What are we doing socially? Social media, branding, footprint. Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Right now, video consumption huge. Right, people are looking for content right now. Look at all the things that you can offer right now. Right, you've got to pick one thing, make it relevant to the market, and lead with that offer right? One thing, make it relevant to the market and lead with an offer. That's what you're going to do. One product offering, 
right? Uh, you might have a couple of pricing options. Of the two options we have, Mr. Prospect, would you like option one or would you like option two? Which would suit you best? And they'll go, I think I'll take option two or I think I'll take option one. So you're providing a yes or a yes answer for them to buy what you have to offer. That's the thing you need to be thinking about, right? So, so the offering is key, right? Next part, conversion strategy. How are you gonna help them? What's your conversion strategy uh, uh, to uh, convert that customer, right? Uh, we're gonna do a webinar. Uh, we're gonna do, are we gonna do cold outreach? Are we doing strategy sessions? Are we doing training? Right? Um, are we doing like how to, like one on one how to? Right? What are we doing? Like lead magnet. So, of all the things that we're doing here, what is your, what is your conversion strategy? Just type in here what your conversion strategy is. Just type in, what are you doing to get somebody on the phone? What is, your, what is your outreach and what is your conversion strategy? Just type in, in the chats. Let's see what, what ideas you got. Uh, Scott's doing cold email, cold email, cold call. Yep, Chris is calling people, cold outreach. Yep, cold call, right? Awesome, what else? Anybody running Facebook ads for leads? LinkedIn outreach, yes, very, very cool. Cold email and calls, yes. Roundtable, Facebook, yes. One of my champions, Francis, has been putting out some pretty highly valuable content in the marketplace and he's attracting corporate clients who are desperately wanting to do exactly the same thing that he's doing. So he's, he's out there demonstrating how he can actually engage a market and then the people come to him, come to him they say, we need to do what you're doing. Is it because it works? You got me here, right? We need to do what you're doing with us. Uh, launching a couple of niche websites uh, for uh, services, yep, for SEO. Also created some niche uh, businesses, awesome, Adam, awesome. So we have to have, what is our one thing that we do that we're really good at that converts a customer into a sale? Whether you offer a plan, whether you're offering uh, to teach people what you know, the best offer that you can make is teach, let me teach you, is the best one, right? Let me show you how. And what I mean by that is you literally show them how, right? Because at the end of that, they'll see how complex Facebook advertising is. They'll see how complex email marketing is. They'll see how complex AdWords is. They'll see the complexity. So they're gonna sit there and at the end of your let me show you, you're gonna give them two options. You can go and do it yourself or um, I can help you put this into place. You can use my team. We'll get this thing up and running faster and get this thing cracking, right? That's the easiest offer. To me, I think right now, that's the helping offer that most people should be offering is the help. Let me show you how, right? And at the end of the day, you can decide whether or not we can help you, yeah? Because if you're showing them how, you're demonstrating the capability. You're demonstrating the complexity. You're demonstrating, you know, what uh, needs to happen to actually make it work, right? So to me, this is one of the easiest ways to get clients. Let me show you how to do this. Right, so one strategy, one traffic source, right? So uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, email lists, I'll put scraped, right? Uh, what else, what else? So other social media, so you know, you've, you, you've got your uh, groups, yeah? that you can get, every single person here should be in a business group, not a, so I wanna make this as a caveat. Don't be in an internet marketing group. Don't join an internet marketing group, right? Join a business group in your local area. Look at the Facebook group for Chicago businesses, for New York businesses, for uh, LA businesses. Look at joining business groups in Facebook and start chiming into those business Facebook groups. Don't hang around internet marketing groups because internet marketers have no idea how to, how to grow a business. They're great at selling product, they're great at copywriting for selling products at $500 to $2,000, but they are absolutely shit at running a business. Don't learn from internet marketers, learn from business people, 
right? So you want to generate business, hang out with business people. Right now, you have the opportunity. There's so many meetup groups right now in business markets. There are so many business groups, entrepreneurial and business groups in business markets. One of the guys I work with, Tanner, put a post in a business group that he was in and sat there and said, right now, Facebook's changed. Facebook's uh, causing problems. If your campaign sucks right now, um, let me have a look at it. I can probably help you. You're probably going to end up saving some money on your Facebook campaign and you're going to be get a better result. You've got nothing to lose. He wasn't pitching his services. He was pitching to help, right? Seven people, seven people hopped on, right? Seven people hopped on, said, yeah, I need your help, Tanner. Four of those people became clients spending $5,000 a month on, on uh, Facebook management, Facebook ad management, because he showed them exactly what he would do if he was running their campaign to fix the campaign right? All he did was, hey, is your current ads sucking right now? Are you frustrated? Are you pissed off with the leads? You're getting crappy leads on Facebook? I know how to fix this. Let me just help you out here. That was his post and his offer. And he had seven people immediately DM him and say, yeah, come and look at the Facebook campaign. Like I said, four of those people ended up spending five grand a month of recurring revenue with him to manage their Facebook campaigns, right? That's $20,000 from one little Facebook post. $20,000 a month from one little Facebook post, right? to offer help, right? Join your business groups. That's why I think business groups are really cool, right? Look at meetup, uh, look at meetups, lots of businesses in there. I know there's lots of small businesses, but there's also lots of larger businesses in there as well. Uh, trade, trade shows, trade show lists, huge, right? Right now, this industry, these people here, they're looking for customers. Anybody that's in a trade show right now can't be in a trade show, right? Anybody that's in a trade show right now cannot do trade show. Yeah. So what are they going to do? How are they going to get their customers? And then these people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of being in trade shows, right? Lots of money. It's very expensive just to acquire customers over a two or three day period, right? So what can they do? Trade show lists are huge. Right now, all the companies that do trade shows, lots and lots and lots of money, right? Tanya says, I've got my 13 year old scraping lists for me. <laughs> pocket money, Tanya, pocket money, right? Um, so these are the sorts of things that you need to be looking at is what is the traffic source that you're looking for, right? Last thing, what is the plan? Every person's goal right here is to go and get your next client, next customer. That's what you're after here, right? Next customer, right? One, one. Not 10, not 20, the next person. I was talking to a guy on the weekend who's actually making 50, about 50 to 60 phone calls a day. That's what he's doing. He's just talking to people, offering to help. He closed five deals last week, five Facebook ad deals last week in the chiropractor market. 60 phone calls a day, 60 phone calls a day. He closed five deals last week, five, right? He added... Uh, uh, they were committing to a minimum of three months. He added $50,000 worth of cash to his business just because he's reaching out to people and say, hey, do you need some help? 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 Right? Some people, guess what? They needed some help, right? You know, and he's just banging away, right? This month, he'll do uh, probably, he'll, he, he believes he'll do about 16 sales. Can you imagine doing 16 Facebook ad sales in one market in one month? 16 in the COVID right now in lockdown. Right? That's pretty cool, huh? Right? He's working it. And he's in a remote location at the, uh, uh, in lockdown himself in doing that. So that your job right now is get to the next customer, right? Uh, we've got two weeks, two weeks, uh, two, a little bit over two weeks left in this month, right? To get to the end of the month. My question to you, right? And I need you to write this down, not to chat to me. My question to you is how much, right? How much cash? Are you going to bank in the next two weeks? How much cash? What is one customer worth? You should, every single person on this call should be able to get one more customer in the next two weeks. Every person, every person. There's not a single person in this, uh, on this call right now that can't get one client, one client, right? in the next two weeks. If you're making offers, if you're reaching out to people, if you're inviting them to talk to you about solving problems, you, you can make a sale if you're actively doing this. The people who can't make a sale in two weeks are not doing anything. 
I'm telling you right now, because oftentimes when I ask people uh, um, uh, how much money they want to bank and they'll say, oh, I need to put 10 grand in my bank account this month. And then the next question I says, great, in the last 30 days, how many appointments have you had? And they'll go one or none or two. Well, it's going to be pretty freaking hard to grow your $10,000 if you're only doing one appointment or zero appointments, right? So, what you, so my question to that person was, what are you doing all day? What are you doing all day that is not putting money in your bank account, right? And they said, oh, I'm you know, building funnels and I'm doing this and I'm uh, creating content and emails and, and yeah, but you're not sending them to anybody. How many emails did you send in the last uh, uh, three weeks? Oh, about 15, but nobody replied. Did you pick up the phone and ask them if they got the email? Do you read every single email that you get? No, right? How many emails did you send to them? Did you just send one email or did you send 10? Oh, I only sent them one, <laughs> right? Well, it's going to be freaking, freaking hard to make any business happen if you're only sending one email, one offer, one idea uh, to the market. I want to email you, text message you, Facebook message you, uh, voice drop, voicemail you. I want to hit you four times with the same message so that you know my name. This John dude is following me everywhere. I think I need to speak to him. I, I want to follow, I, I've got to get on the phone just to find out what the hell this guy is on about, right? Most people are sending one email and thinking one email is going to do the job, right? And it's not. One email is not going to do the job. Yeah. So what are we doing to generate clients? One customer right now. That's the key, right? So let's uh, open the lines. I want to ch chat to you here. Uh, and I'm going to use my iPad to draw some things out for you uh, to be able to help you. But the question that I'm going to ask you or the thing that I want you to think, if you want me to help you right now, if you want to help, help me help you with a niche, I'll help you with a niche. If you want me to help you with a campaign, I will help you with a campaign. If you want me to talk about uh, strategy, I can help you with a strategy. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to invite you. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people on here. Uh, I'm going to invite you. And if you've got a microphone and you would like me to help you, and by the way, there's a whole bunch of people here that I know that have, that have gotten a lot of help over the last uh, few days. Uh, what I'd like to do is give some new people a chance uh, to, uh, to have uh, some time with me. So, uh, um, Hung, I know that you're there. Julie, I haven't seen you there for a while. Um, uh, who else we got here? Uh, Steve Miller, it'd be great to see, uh, great to chat to you. Susan, uh, if you want me to help you. Uh, Tanya, it's been a while since I've had a conversation. Uh, Tim, more than happy to help. So those people who want me to help, just type one if you want to unmute with me and I will help you. Just type one on the keyboard and I'll help you. I hope you answer any question you have about generating clients, any questions you have about the five ones, niche market, strategy, uh, uh, your offer, your approach. Just type one, let me unmute you. Let's have a, ch let's have a chat. Or well, the other way to do this, uh, Giovanni. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to you, Giovanni. Oscar, awesome, I'm gonna talk to you, Oscar. Uh, one thing I will do, uh, for those of you who are listening, what's the biggest takeaway from what I've shared today in this training? What's the biggest takeaway for you guys? Just type in the chat, just so I know that you're listening. If you were to look at your notes that you've been writing now of all the stuff that I've been doing, uh, for Giovanni says the plan, uh, Tim says, go and get your next client. Yep, don't need the next 10, you just need the next one, and the next one after that, and the next one after that. Uh, Chris says the five ones. Uh, Adam says focus on one. Yes. Uh, what else? What's, what's the biggest takeaway? Other takeaways. Consistency. Yes. Uh, if you're not prospecting, you're not in business. Absolutely. Uh, let me show you the, let me show you how this works is a great strategy. Uh, Howard says the five ones. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to get back to uh, some people here. Let's help you, uh, Giovanni. Uh, I'm going to allow you to talk. Hey, Giovanni, how you doing? Can you hear me, Giovanni? Got your microphone on? Yeah, can you hear me, John? I got you, man. So, what's okay, your question? You. Can you help me out? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm just planning to, to create a, a service to help people to, to work remotely. I mean, uh, I, do, I work remotely all the time yeah. uh, within the company that I work for. So, uh, I yeah. am planning to, to offer the same knowledge to, to people. As a service. So, how much do you want to, how much do you want to charge them for it? Uh, I mean, it's all about consulting, consulting because I'm not providing any tool or any other software or something. Uh, yeah. But, so, how much uh, are you going to charge? So you want to teach people how to work? You need, you need to either you do this as a course, or it, like right now. Uh, so, companies, if they need help right now, 
to take their uh, normal teams to remote teams, well, that's, tra that's training and consulting. So if you want to offer it to businesses, say, hey, how do you, take, how do you actually effectively work remotely with your teams? So, so what is your, you know, what is, as a company, you've got to have a communication plan, yeah? You've got to have a plan of how you're going to communicate, how you're going to execute, what's your scorecard, how do you manage your team online? That's number one. So you've got to devise a plan, right? Number two, your team needs to have the right equipment. They need to, you know, how are you going to uh, have team meetings? You're going to use Slack. You don't use it right now. How do you manage your projects? You're going to need things like Asana, Monday.com, Trello, right? All these things you need to be able to work from home. Yes, Giovanni? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. So, you, the, so, yeah, so if that's the idea, right, then you've got, to see, you've got to go to companies right now. Think about companies who've got sales teams and administration teams, companies that have more than uh, 10 people working in them. So if I'm going to look for companies that your, your market's really easy, right? And your offer is really easy. Are you right now, are you struggling to manage your team remotely? Are you struggling to manage your team in a, in a remote environment? Has your productivity dropped, right? Uh, number one, you want to keep the productivity up. You want to keep the cash flow coming in and you want to be able to manage your teams remotely effectively. Uh, can I show you how to do this successfully because I've been doing this for years. Are you interested in having a conversation about some of the things that you need to consider to make sure that your teams are performing at a high level at a, uh, remote? I'm going to give you a call in a couple of days time. I'm going to give you a call this afternoon just to touch base uh, and just introduce myself and just to see where you might need some help. There's your email, Giovanni. Great. Right. Great. Right. And then with your, with your offer, you want, to, you want to offer it as a package. You want to sit and say, how many people you got? We can run webinar classes to show people how to use the technology. We can talk about project managing. We can talk about uh, communication. Uh, you know, how do you set up remote, remote communication so that you're moving forward properly? Uh, we can, there are certain systems and processes you need to go through. Uh, it's going to take you, it could take you a week. It could take you two weeks to get effective. But you've got to figure out a price point for it, Giovanni. Because right now, there's a lot of businesses, guess what they're looking for? How do I, move, how do I work with people remotely? That search, that search right now, if I was running ads, that's where I'd be running ads for you. That search right yeah. now is how do, I work, how do I have my teams work remote is huge. So, get a, so my recommendation to you, Giovanni, is find companies with 20 or more people, right, that have, that have to work from home, that right now they've got the choice where they have to work from home. Right, so people who have sales teams, people who are product uh, product based call centers, that sort of stuff. All those people need your help, Giovanni. Yeah. Okay. Okay, John. So, thank you very much. So, yeah. All you gotta do is get that list, and then I've recorded your message, and you get the message crafted, and you can send it out. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great, John. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks, man. I appreciate you being on here, Giovanni. So uh, that's how it works. If you want me to help you, give you strategy, give you an uh, outcome, then I can do that. Uh, so somebody else did a one up here. Uh, Oscar, Oscar Ravello. If you've got a microphone, I hope you have. I'm going to find you here in the, the big list of lists. Uh, I'm going to allow you to talk. Hey, Oscar, how you doing? Hey, how are you, John? I'm good, man. So how can I help you today? Okay, John. Uh, thank you so much for what you're doing, man. Um, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I have a challenge. So uh, I'm in these uh, uh, work agency, okay? Uh, but I have challenge uh, selling um, in English uh, is because I, I don't feel so comfortable. What's your, what's, with, your native, what's your native language, Oscar? Uh, Spanish. So you know that one third of the world's population speaks Spanish. Uh, yeah, that's that's one that's what third. I want to. One third. And do you know that in the United States, are you in the U.S., Oscar, or are you somewhere else? No, I'm in Miami, U.S. That's, that's what I'm, You're in the US. I want to ask. Okay, you. so there are, tw there are 40 million people who speak Spanish in the United, who are Spanish uh, Latino in the United States. 40 million people, yeah? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of Latino businesses, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, and those, um, that's... Businesses, those businesses need to communicate both in English and in Spanish, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So play to your strengths and help Latino businesses uh, thrive in this economy. Yeah, that, that's 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 what I'm that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm I'm yeah. I'm, I'm able to um, to help um, generate a lead, um, communicate with the with our customer, um, create funnels. I can train the, the, the salesperson how to handle the lead for the conversion. 
I can see the presentation. Yeah. I, I'm focusing in, in, in the, with doctor because the, yeah. the two clients that I have in the past are dentists and orthodontics, you know? Yeah. So, um, so speak, to, let it speak to Hispanic practices. I, I must suggest, by the way, Oscar, that doesn't mean that you can't go and help uh, uh, English speaking businesses. You can, your English is perfect, right? But if you, if you find that there is a, uh, that you have, you know, there's confidence, like, you know, like being heard or being understood, all those sorts of things. I work with a lot of people in consulting champions who English is their second language, not their first language, right? Uh, I speak, you know, if I look at Richard Fong, Chloe Liu, um, uh, Lisa Choa, uh, you know, they're Koreans and, and uh, Ta Taiwanese and Chinese, right? And their English is very broken, but they speak English, they speak English perfectly, they understand English perfectly, but they still go and get English clients, they sp still get native English speaking clients in the business that they're serving, in the business that markets they're serving, because the service that they're offering is relevant to the customer. So it doesn't matter what they talk like or how they talk, right? As long as they can communicate and say, hey, this is how we help you, then that customer goes, okay, if I see that value proposition, I'd like to get helped, right? Yeah? Okay. So don't let language, don't let language be the barrier, but if language is, a, you can use language as a strength, man. One third of the population of the world right now is open for, is open for business and they speak Spanish, you know? That, that's, that's what I right? want to, that's, that's, that's what I want to ask you, uh, like an angle. Because mm -hmm. so what you say is really yeah. true. It's 50 million of, of people that speak Spanish in the U.S. and it's a lot of underserved, yeah. you know. And um, yeah. the majority of of the people here, here in Miami, 70 percent uh, speak Spanish, uh, yeah. but all the material are in English, and so they feel more comfortable speaking the first language, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, There's mucho mucho probalo uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> right now. Right. So Mucho what? I, provado, eh? Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm taking strategies and um, so I'm doing call email, uh, but I don't know how to yeah. get to a Spanish speaking business owner like a doctor, and I, I send a blast to all to 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 the major cities that have a Spanish population in Spanish. So um, yeah. and so, don't, so let's break this down, Oscar. Let's let's break this down. You don't need you don't need thousands of doctors. You don't need that because you can't work with how many doctors? Can you work with thousands of doctors, Oscar? No. If no, a thousand doctors said, "Hey, I need your help today, Oscar. Could you help them?" No, no, actually, you couldn't do it. Yeah, but you can work yeah. with five or ten. Yeah, you can work yeah. with five or ten. Yeah, yeah. and from once you get ten, you can go and get twenty, and once you get twenty, you can go thirty, forty. So right now, you just need to get one client. How many customers do we need to get right now, Oscar? Yes, one, yeah. Just one paying customer, right? So do we need to go and send a thousand emails to go get one paying customer? Look mm. at me. No. No, no. <laughs> right? I could, send, I could send five emails and get one customer. I could send 10 emails and get one customer, right? Uh, the thing is, is I want to follow it up. Yeah, if I'm going to put that out there. So if you want to get, a, so is there, I bet you, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I bet you there is a Latino, right, uh, medical association. I'm sure there's a medical association for Latino doctors, right? Yeah. In America, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so right now we've just solved your list problem. You can go to the medical association for Latinos, right? For Latino doctors, search for it online, search for it in, in Spanish and search for it in English. And I'm sure on Google, you'll find Latino Spanish doctors, right? So now you said to me, John, how do I find Spanish doctors? I've just shown you how to find Spanish doctors, right? Now, yeah. what is the message, right? The message is right now, people, uh, there's a couple of things. People need to be aware that your practice is open. So the question that I would ask a doctor is, I, I don't know how to say this in Spanish because I don't speak Spanish, but I would say, hey, are you closed like everybody else or are you accepting patients right now in Spanish? That's the offer, right? Yeah, actually, are you I closed I, I, like all the doctors or are you accepting patients right now? That's your offer. Yeah. Well, yeah? actually, I took that, that strategy from you like two, two three days ago. And I send yep. today uh, the email, and I get uh, uh, five call back. You know, uh, isn't it amazing? California. You got five call back on that offer. So hopefully everybody else who's on this call is listening to that offer right now. Are you closed like everybody else in your market, or are you still accepting customers? Uh, just worked for Oscar. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So yeah, now you got send... a message, right? Now you got the callbacks, right? Now what's your problem? Tell me what the problem is next. Uh, 
So actually, um, um, yeah, I'm. I feel that the if I get uh, somebody that can sell in in, in English, so it's gonna be much much smoother, you know. So my challenge is uh, that one: how to so how hire, to hire an SDR, hire an SDR, a sales development representative, somebody to do the calling for you. Right, work yeah. with somebody who who say I'm going to get the lead, I'm going to get the appointment. You need to close the deal, right? So yeah. I will pay you a commission only. So you're going to do commission only. Yeah. Yeah. You said yeah, one message. Yeah. You said one. You said one message, and you got and five in, callbacks. And in Spanish. So I imagine if I say yeah. that in English. It's gonna be yeah. more right. volume. You know? Stick to Spanish, uh, Oscar. To do this, it's gonna take time. To do this, it's gonna take time. To get a sales development representative for you, it's gonna take time. I would be doing the do what you're doing right now and work with those callbacks because one of those customers out of five is one of those people out of five is gonna turn into a customer for you, right? That's what I'd be yeah. doing. Yeah, right. So yeah, so don't worry about the English market. Right, there's like right now, there's how many doctors, how many Hispanic doctors are there in, in just in Florida? Yeah, Miami, there are a lot, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so look for the Spanish Medical Association and check out Miami and you'll get a list of all the doctors, right? Then you can go to the Texas uh, Spanish uh, Medical Association, which is the state over, over there to the left, right? If you're looking at the map, right? Uh, Texas is the second largest state of the union and then go to Arizona, which is on the border of Mexico. So we have uh, people who, a lot of Spanish people in uh, Arizona, uh, Phoenix has two and a half million people or five and a half million people in a population. Uh, then we go to California, right? Uh, to good old yeah. Cali and that's got a huge Hispanic population. Southern California is a massive market for you. So are you telling me that you don't have enough business in the Spanish market between Florida, Texas, Arizona and California? Yeah, that's true, man. Well, oh, we need to go and get English clients. We don't yeah. need to go and get English clients. Just go and get because you, because if you do what if you say do what you say. Oh, I want to go to the English market with this message. Well, how long it's going to take you to go and find somebody to work with? How to hire that person? Work out a commission structure. Work out the sales pitch in English, not in Spanish. It's going to take you a month to get going. And I said to get a customer in the next two weeks, right? So yeah. play to your strengths. Play to your strengths. You just yeah. you just highlighted a whole market. You don't need the English market right now. You can go to the Spanish market. I know somebody uh, uh, in Houston. Uh, his name's Alejandro. He only works with Spanish car dealers. He only works with Spanish car dealers. He's doing about 180 grand a month in recurring revenue just selling to Spanish car dealers, Facebook ads. Wow. Right? Yeah. Because he, like you, is a native uh, 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 Spanish speaker. Yeah. So he only works with car dealers who are Spanish. And he, he only he works in the Southern States. He's working in the South. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But he's doing, doing $180,000 a month in recurring revenue just with car dealers, with Spanish car dealers. Do you think he needs to go to get some American English speaking car dealers? Do you think he needs some customers over there? No, no, I, I realized no. with you and this conversation that, that I'm, I'm putting the, the trouble, you know, I'm putting, it's my yeah. mindset, yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, Oscar, thank you. I hope that's been helpful to you. No, thank you so much, man. Yeah, and also, um, I do, I do do advice, advice of um, call everybody in the past and everything. Uh, um, yep. And thank you. Uh, I send an offer for yep. a, a past doctor, and I send yep. a contract, and they told me that they're going yep. to go ahead. So. Oh um, man! Congratulations. Yeah, thank so you. So you're, you're doing the you're doing the follow up strategy that we talked about. Go back to people, re offer what you're doing, and you've got a sale coming up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mate, that's awesome, man! Congratulations, fantastic. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Well done, man. Thank, thanks to you. <laughs> that's awesome, mate. Thanks for being here. Okay. Right. So uh, next, uh, we've got. I'm just looking at people that are chitty chatting. Uh, he will kill it in the GMB Miami market. Yeah. Uh, you can kill it in the in the Google My Business market, uh, uh, Oscar, in the uh, in the Hispanic or Latino market. Uh, Harry says he's got to go now. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate you doing that. 
uh, what commission do you recommend? So if, if so, somebody's asking commission. So for an appointment center, 50 bucks per appointment. Per appointment that shows up, per appointment that shows up. If I close the deal, I'll give them another $200. So for every deal, they get 250. For every appointment that shows up, 50 bucks. If the appointment doesn't show up, right, not qualified, they don't get paid. So if they can do if if they can do ten appointments a week, uh, they're going to probably make they're going to make about five hundred dollars on the appointments, but they're probably going to make another four hundred dollars or another six hundred dollars on the sales. So they're going to pick up eleven hundred dollars out a week, eleven hundred dollars a week for working at uh, probably a twenty hour week. That's not too bad. There's a lot of appointment setters out there who work from home for that kind of money, right? So easy peasy. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Um, uh, Yes, there is a Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Absolutely, there is. Uh, there's a huge, huge Cuban community in Miami. Yes. <laughs> George says, I want to learn Spanish. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So James says... Yes, you can have lamingtons in between phone calls, James. Absolutely. Brandon, biggest takeaway was the three offers, uh, stay, pay, still in business, letting, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Brandon, appreciate it. Anybody would like my help, let me hop on, let me help you. If you want strategy, you want ideas, you want tactics, you want some clarity, just type one. If you've got a microphone, I will uh, open you up and we can answer your questions. So if you want me to help you here, uh, uh, Brent, Brandon, Andrew, Adam, I've got you all here, right? Whoever wants me to help them right now, just type one and let me give you strategy, structure, right? Do that sort of stuff. If you've shown up here and you need to go and get clients and you'd like me to help you go get a client and I'm going to help you for free, right? Uh, right now, my champions in the last two weeks banked $85,000 in deposits. So if you want to be banking money in your account and you want me to help you, then type one. I shouldn't be begging you. You should be going like crazy. Help me out, John. So in the chat, just type one and I'll help you out. <laughs> just type one in the chat and I'll help you out. Just like I helped Giovanni, just like I helped Oscar. Type two if you can still see me and hear me. Type two if you can still see me and hear me. I don't know what, to, I just need to see. Okay, so I'm still here. All right, so if you want me to help you, right? If you want me to unpack strategy, tactic, focus, clarity to go out in the market, all of you say you wanna get the next customer. If you want me to help you, just type one. If you've got a microphone, I'm gonna unmute and we can talk about uh, helping you. I'll give you the strategy, the structure. Look at Oscar. Applied two strategies, got five callbacks on one, generated a customer. If you'd like to do exactly the same thing and you want me to help you right here now, just type one and I will help you. I will unmute and I will help you. Otherwise, I'm going to say thanks for coming and I'm gone. Till tomorrow, manana. Tim Berry. Hey, Tim. Let's have a chat. Hey, Tim, how you doing? I'm good. Um, I don't want to okay. monopolize things because you gave me a lot of time you yesterday. Can, you can <clears throat> monopolize things, man, because the questions that you asked him also help other people. So understand if you are going to ask me questions, those of you here on the call, uh, your questions, the questions you ask are also going to help other people. So that's why uh, I, I really appreciate you hopping on, Tim. I know you've got experience. I know you've got clients. I know you're working your ass off to keep your business going and growing. So uh, let me help you, man. Yep. So, uh, you know, we had our discussion yesterday and uh, decided to focus on offering pay-per-click or Google ads to mm -hmm. roofers. Yeah. And I uh, was taking notes while I was talking to you. So I didn't do a great job of that, but I, I tried to translate that into a cold outreach email and yep. did an email blast today. On top of that, Julie followed up the email blast with phone calls. And um, we, we were kind of, um, we had our settings wrong on our email. So they they kind of just went out at the end of the day. Uh, didn't get a great open response. Okay. Uh, got a couple replies, got one strategy session booked for tomorrow. So overall it was a success. Um, and she spoke to, she spoke to a couple different, uh, roofers and, uh, overall good calls there so far. But, uh, I was wondering with the, you know, we've, we've had success with your initial outreach email before, you know, could you handle yeah. an additional 30, 40 clients? Um, yeah. This email in particular, what I did 
I took what you were saying yesterday because again, we're pivoting with the times right now. And I focused on, you know, I actually started with, you know, uh, the subject line I used, are you closed or are you taking new roofing clients? And mm -hmm. I did, I split tested three different versions of that just so I could mm -hmm. see what, what's going to get the best open rate. Um, still taking new cl new roofing clients uh, got the got the best so far today. So I get I get them to open, and again the open rate right now is low compared to like nor it's half what I normally get, and I think that may be a function of the times too because I think it's a pretty good subject line. Um, the message though, should I? Um, go with more of the traditional approach there. Could you use more customer, like ca customers cash and some things you said yesterday, customers cash and uh, to keep your employees going or your workers going or um, the approach that we took is I could read it to you. I, I could pull it up, but basically the gist was there's three groups of people, three groups of roofers right now. Those that are kind of throwing their arms up and giving up those that are just trying to survive until you know, a few months till this is passes, hopefully, and those that are fighting and trying to win right now. And those are the ones that are getting business. And then uh, before I put this together, I did what you said. I looked up Google Trends and in roofing, it stayed pretty steady over the last 90 days uh, for both roofing repair and new, new roofs. And in fact, compared to last year, at this time, it's actually a touch better uh, in the states that we were sending messages to. So I included that in there too, just so I go ahead yep. in yep. that email and eliminate that objection before we even have a call. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the email I'm sending out. Basically, everything you said on the call yesterday, it's, it's not that long, but it's longer than I normally send out. It's longer than the, hey, could yep. you use another 30 or 40 clients? Um, so that's yeah. what we're doing but, right now. But, what do you suggest? Yeah. Yeah. So all of those things are great. The thing that I wouldn't do is going, uh, saying you want 30 to 40 clients because right now people aren't even in their head. So just to give perspective of where the market's at, right? Uh, if we're selling aspirationally right now, so we're selling like growth and blah, 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 in a time where people are retracting, that message isn't going to work, right? Emotion and emotion is going to fail. Put two emotional things together, people don't make emotional decisions. They can't make a relevant emotional decision. So that's a, like a two magnets pulling apart from each other. Um, by thinking on emotion and buying on emotion, emotional time, you can't sell on emotion. And 30 customers is, is like, hey, yeah, I, I want clients, right? Um, uh, but, uh, you know, people don't want to be happy right now. People just want to be okay. <laughs> and what we've got to do is we've got to get people to okay, right? Because being okay means certainty, assurance, some clarity, right? Uh, some, some movement, yeah? That's what, so that's the message that we have to kind of market to. Let's get okay. Let's, let's stay in business. Let's make sure that we're open for business and letting people know that they can find us or at least uh, do business with us. Let's, uh, let's look at ways of making sure that we, we've got opportunities right now in our current business where we can go back and open the door to opportunities that perhaps we didn't really follow through on to bring those customers back into our business. If that's the type of conversation you'd like to have, I've literally just scripted out another email for you, Tim. But if that's the type of conversation that you want to have, then we're devising plans right now that are focusing roofers on one, keeping your roofers employed, your contractors employed, so you can actually go out there and serve the market that is looking for you right now. Uh, number two, ways in which you can re-engage people who uh, perhaps you've spoken to but neglect not neglected, but perhaps forgotten about that, uh, that are interested right now. Uh, number three, to make sure that you're visible in the market. And number four, right? Number four, people right now are sitting, so you can split the message, Tim, but people right now are sitting in the lounge rooms, watching TV, on YouTube, right? On the internet. Uh, they're also making lists. They're making lists of all the stuff that they need to fix in the house. For the first time, they're sitting at home. So what are they going to do? A part of their part of their journey in being in lockdown is they're looking at all their broken stuff, Tim. Right? They're thinking about their roof that they've got to patch up or they've got to fix or they've got to respray or they've got to remodel. They're, th they're making lists, right? So if they're making lists, one of those lists is got to fix the roof. Yeah? 
So right now, what's the message that you're sending out to people? How is your current roofing message helping people in this time of where people are need safety, security, cash, right? So I think you're, all your messages are right. I think the follow-up is the critical part of the strategy. That's really, that's really important, yeah? Uh, Tammy says, how many roofers did you send an email to to get those responses? <laughs> Yeah, so we sent out uh, 400, but like I said, the majority of them went out the last couple hours, and okay. they, they're not as responsive as a lot of our uh, lists, uh, roofers aren't as far as opening. Um, the ones that are working, a lot of them own, own the business and they're up on roofs, uh, so uh, yeah. this isn't yeah. that unusual for us to have a low initial open rate. And then within yep. 24 hours, I'll have a more accurate assessment. But we sent 400 out and we have out of this initial list, tomorrow we're sending out 600. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. The thing here, I would do a second email, say, hey, I haven't heard back from you. Yeah, we've got, we, in this campaign, I just loaded three quickly. So uh, we're sending out one and then in two days, it sends out another. And then I've got another delay of four days and uh, mm -hmm. for the third email. And that's basically the, the second, third email are super short, just reiterating mm -hmm. a point and saying, you know, if you'd still like to talk, shoot us your number, reply back with your number. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I would be following up the emails. I would, I would batch the emails and just follow them up and say, Hey, just shot this through. I know you're busy. I know you're probably sitting on a roof somewhere or you're, you know, you're trying to manage things, but we're just reaching out to people. Uh, and we're, we're asking if uh, which category of business you're in, you know, you're trying to hang in or you're trying to uh, uh, crack this because there are people in the market right now in the roofing business that are doing some serious business. Right. Uh, and right now they're keeping their employees and their contractors employed. Um, and they're taking advantage of the fact that there's a whole gap in the market that has opened up. Uh, you know, where are you sitting with that right now? You know, are you just looking at plans that we're sharing with roofers right now publicly uh, to help them uh, make sure, be visible, right? What, you know, without a plan, you're a tourist, right? Without a plan, you've got no clarity, no assurance. Uh, you know, uh, most business owners right now are panicking, right? So remember that, that idea or that concept is we just want to get back to okay. It's not about being happy, it's just being okay being safe, you know, being secure. So we want to help as many roofers right now get okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, make sure that the business is okay. Make sure that the people that you're working with, that their families are okay. You know, speak to that message, right? Uh, that opener will give you a much better result. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Man, are there any other questions, Tim? I really oh, appreciate no. you sharing. Yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you hopping on. Okay. Uh, Herschel says, is there specific recommendations you make for outsourcing Facebook ads marketing? Yep. Uh, go to globatelmarketing.com. So Globatel marketing.com uh, or uh, IPPC. That's invisible. Com. Those guys are awesome. Systems, teams, people, awesome to talk to. Uh, yes, Tim is the guy from yesterday, James. <laughs> so, uh, who else needs some help? Just type one. I will unmute your microphone and I'll give you some help, some direct help. Who needs some help with strategy, outreach, uh, conversion? What do you need? Just type one. I'll open it up. Susan Robbins, nice to have you here. Steve Miller, do you need some help? Peter Smith, I know you're a talker. Do you need some help, Peter? Just type one. I know what you want and I'll give it to you tomorrow. <laughs> Trent Belasco, you're on vacation, dude. Thanks for hanging out while you're on vacation. Nice to have you here. Jamil Lilla, man, good to have you here. How you doing? Is there anything I can do to help you? Just type in one. If you can hear me and see my screen right now, just type two in your keyboard, two, 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 two. Howard Tiano, uh, um, awesome. <laughs> uh, Peter says, I'll patiently wait for till, till tomorrow. Yep. Uh, so the rest of people, Oscar can hear me, awesome, okay. So I'm gonna sort of call you out here. Um, uh, Adam, do you just type one if you need some help. 
Andrew, if you need some help, Andrew Suva, Brent Vasquez, if you need some help. Uh, so far, two leads from uh, Facebook. Congratulations, Mark. Well done. Uh, Chris Kirkham, do you need some help? Just type in one. Chris Lacey, do you need some help? Evangeline, nice to have you here. Uh, that's, a, that's a beautiful name, Evangeline. Uh, if you need some help, just type one, right? Uh, Herschel Wynn, if you want some help, man, just type one, I'll help you out. Uh, if you've got a question. Now, if you're scared to talk to me, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. If you are afraid of talking to me, then please type in your question and let me answer your question. Uh, if, if, if that's a, the barrier here that you don't have a microphone and you've got a direct question, I'll answer your question. Otherwise, I'm gonna say thanks for coming and I'll be uh, heading out the door. Uh, you've given me a, a full on strategy since doing these calls. Awesome, Adam, I'd love to know the feedback of you implementing those strategies. Uh, a bit stuck with the structure of my summary uh, roundtable. Mark, I will answer that question uh, in a moment. Susan Robbins, uh, I love my words. Uh, I'm on a call in five minutes and about to build a page right now for an offer. Uh, give, you, uh, the, give you the success rate next time. Uh, you're the best, thanks for all that you do and have done for me much better now uh, than in the past due to me. Uh, Susan, thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, um, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate you hopping on the call too. Uh, so hop on tomorrow, let's have a chit chat, bring a microphone. Um, so, uh, la, 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 la. who else have we got here? Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, let's uh, work out the strategy here so other people can see what's going on. Mark, 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 where are you, Mark? Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark. Okay. How you doing, Mark? Unmuted you. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. So Perfect. let me just take a step back before you start talking. Uh, you did this. You did the strategy with the focus, with the focus, with the with the think tank group. You had sixty-seven people apply. Thirty people showed up. You had the recording. You've already set out the replay to everybody. You've just done a recap. You've done a little bit of a video recap. And now you're asking me what is the next step in the recap? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. So I'm I'm still stuck. Like I, I still stand. I have one appointment, but I'm still stuck with the video summary because I don't want this to be too long, and I think it's dragging me. So I just want to have maybe a, a better structure so I can do the recap summary of. So, of, so the recap's really easy. Yeah, yeah, recap's really easy. If you look at the conversation and how the conversation went in, in the thing, pick the highlights that people got engaged in. Pick the ones that people chimed into uh, the conversation. So, uh, you know, it could be three or four things. It doesn't have to be 20 things, right? Three or yeah. four of the most important things that came out of the conversation was this. One, two, three, four. And then all you're going to do is saying, hey, here's what was said about it. Here's what the response was. Uh, here's some things perhaps that I'd like to add to this that you need to take into consideration, right? And then that's it. Your video shouldn't be more than eight minutes long. Anywhere between seven and eight minutes, that's it. Bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. Here's what was discussed. Here's why it's a good idea. Maybe here's why you, what, uh, some things you need to consider, right? And then you send it out to people. Now, how you make an appointment with people is say, hey, I'm gonna shoot this out to you. Uh, I've got my calendar link. Are you, are you available? Uh, um, there's a thing called assistant.io, assistant.io. You can stick it on your Gmail email. Uh, and what you can do is, what it allows you to do is to put selected times in your calendar inside your email. So they can literally just click the time and make a time on your calendar to go through uh, the review of the points, right? So if you make a time with me, I'll make sure I will send you that video to give you the update of what, what uh, of the key points. Uh, let's have a 15 minute chat. That's how you get the appointments. That's the easiest way to get appointments. So there's a thing called assistant.io or assistant. Uh, dot, yeah, assistant.io and allows you to put uh, a timestamp inside the email that says you can put, uh, and I would keep the timestamp short, right? So I only give them two or three times a day for the next two or three days because you want to get the appointment quickly. So you'll reach out and email should be saying, hey, had a great time in the session. By the way, I've put together a summary of the biggest points in this. I've put a video together, but what I want to do is want to, I want to touch base to get some feedback on your experience in the, in the conversation. And number two, look at some key points that perhaps may help you keep you accountable to applying and implementing some of those ideas that we shared in the meeting. You'll notice below, there are a couple of times in my calendar I've got available. All you have to do is click on the time that suits you, and then we're gonna we have a quick 15 minute chat i'll make sure that i get the video out to you thanks for reading the email right but perfect. there's your email <laughs> but thank you and i had another question because since it was not my zoom uh room right 
the the guy that yeah. sent the invitation, like he doesn't have some people with their name. There's only the email, so that kind of sucks because I don't even know who I'm speaking to. I don't know which which email belongs. Hey, to so who. you can so here's the email. S send an email to send an email to those people you don't have a name to. Say, look, yeah. I know I've got your email here. You turned up at this meeting the other day. This is what I'm doing, uh, I, um, I, and I just wanted to quickly follow up. Uh, so if you want to have a chat to me, book here. Now, when they book, they have to put their name in, right? So you okay. can still send a message to people who didn't put their name in, and you've just got an email address. Hey, you showed up to the meeting. It was great to have you there. Uh, I've, I've bullet pointed some of the key uh, factors here. Yeah. Put a short video together as a summary. Uh, if you want to book a time, book a time here. Uh, this, I'm, um, and you can let people know that right now, a lot of the people that are on the call are starting to book some times uh, for accountability to apply some of those ideas uh, to help those businesses moving forward. So I'm just reaching out, touching base, getting feedback, uh, looking at things that you can implement and make sure that you're accountable to those. Because at the end of the day, that whole purpose of that meeting was to uh, look at ways of obviously progressing and being optimistic with the current situation. Uh, here's a few times that you can put in my, uh, in my uh, pick out of my calendar. Uh, so you give them suggestions if you're using it, it all it is is an, uh, it's a plugin it's free right assistant yeah. i think it's assistant uh, it's free and you can just put you literally hit the button you can select the days and you can select how long the call is and you don't want to give too many options you want to give maybe four options maximum right uh, uh pick two times in each day and then just get them to, get them to pick the time because the system okay. is aligned with your calendar and it knows when you're available and when you're not available sure. so Perfect. it's a really cool strategy the thing is how do I send, like I said, I don't know who showed up and who didn't show up. So, so how do I make a... a uh, if you, you go into the back of Zoom, if you go into the back of Zoom, the, rec the recording section of Zoom, it tells you exactly who showed up. Yeah. Go into the back of, back, sorry, assistant.to. That's exactly right, uh, Shaq, uh, James. Assistant.to. Assistant.to. It's in the chat, right? Okay, so I'll do that. And I did launch the... Um, the landscaping uh, messaging with the video. So, so far I had yeah. two people that raised their hand. So I'll see what's going to happen uh -huh. with them. So, so the two uh, people coming back to you on the landscaping market. Yeah, I, I sent, like I'm testing it out. I sent seven messages and I did one post in the business group. So now I'm just, so far I had two people that raised their hand. So what, what I did, I did a landing page with the video and with a link to my calendar. That's all I did. So I'm waiting on uh, what, 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 what's going to happen. You are, you are taking massive actions. That's fantastic, man. That is fantastic. Good yeah. to see. And, yeah, thank you. And then, you know, for the round table, I spoke to the guy and he told me exactly who have the money and who I can help. So I'm starting with those, those three people first. And then I'm going to launch to the other people that the, the other email, because I wanted to put the email in active campaign, but I don't have their names. I can't even put them in active campaign, you know? So I'm just going to yeah. do it to my Gmail. That's it. Just to, just to a Gmail direct. Yeah. Yeah. To, to everybody. All right, man. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate you uh, taking action, man. Uh, 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 this is awesome. Good to see you, Mark. Thank you. And the, the, um, did you post the uh, the the content piece that you said that you're going to put in um in, in the Facebook group there to like? I, uh, no, I haven't, but I've got my team on it today, so it'll, it will be up. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks, man. Perfect. Thanks. All right, so uh, James uh, Shaki, I'm going to unmute you, James, because uh, uh, I'm going to we're going to we're going to uh, hash this out in, uh, live so that you don't have to wait for me to respond to an email. Okay. So James, 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 where are you, James? Where are you, James? I'm gonna find you. There you go. I'm gonna uh, hopefully you got a mic, man. You there, James? Yeah, I'm here now. Okay. So man, uh, you got me. You got my time. We're in front of yeah. an audience. Ask me the yeah. question. I'll give you the answer. If I can help <laughs> you out, I'll script it out, do whatever. This is as best. This is as good as you're gonna get, right? Oh, this this so, is awesome. Uh, this is awesome. But here here's the here's my point. Um, I thought it was on Thursday. So I went back to that video um, and listened to the whole thing. And by the way, I, I can't believe how much I missed. So it was great going back, but I didn't mm -hmm. find what I wanted. So I was just hoping, hoping that you might've remembered. I know you do these. So every day. Ask me the question, ask me what it is. And I'll, if I, and I'll just, um, I can spin it out to you right uh, yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't specifically say what it was, but you, you mentioned an email that went out that was really great. 
Uh, and I asked you to send it to me and I said, hey, am I crossing the line? And you said, no, absolutely not. Just reach out to me. So that's where Just I'm give me at. The context. Give me the context of the email. I, I know mean, lots of emails and I do thousands of emails. So I know. I I'm know. the email. Yeah. If I, if I, <laughs> I know. So if you tell me the context, I can, I can spit out the email for you right here uh, and now. Yeah, so I'm this wasting, is apparently I'm a great email that worked. I've got lots of great emails at work. So, so now I've got to narrow that down out of yeah. like 500 emails at work. Um, yeah, if John, you can give me John. some context, then I can yeah. give you the strategy. I'm wasting people's time right now. I have to go back on the videos okay. and find out ex exactly what it was. I, I apologize. Yeah. That's okay, man. You're not wasting time. Now, yeah. is there anything I can help you with? Would you like me to craft your email right now? Um, actually, you helped me out a lot yesterday. And you answered a lot of questions with the person before me, if you recall. So I'm, I'm really um, happy about that. I'm going to follow up with the guy that I had, the JV, and, um, and let him know our conversation and, and move from that point. And I'll let you know how that goes. Awesome, man. All right. Thanks for being here, James. Well, Appreciate no, thank that. you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, la, 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 la. Uh, Chris Kirkham says, we'll ask you about roofers in Auckland uh, in the next day or so. Got to talk uh, to one first. <laughs> uh, mate, if you want to talk to a, a roofer, it's pretty easy. Just ask them if they're getting, uh, if they're accepting roofing jobs. That's pretty quick. You know, that's one of the easiest ways to find people is to ask them if they're doing business or engage people. Um, bah, 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 bah. Uh, anybody, well, any, any questions? Ask me the question. So we've got Oscar here. Uh, uh, John, I saw in the TV news interviewing a person as an expert for a small business, but really uh, she could do more. I think uh, it's a nice way to help business owners make an offer to get an appointment and positioning as an expert. Yeah, if you want to get on the television, Oscar, you can hop on to uh, TV and be interviewed. By the way, uh, uh, TV channels right now are looking for small business owners uh, to speak to about how they're coping with uh, what's going on right now. So all you need to do is go, go and approach the editor's desk uh, of the programs or program director and say, hey, are you looking for businesses? Uh, uh, are you looking for people to talk to about some of the optimistic things that businesses can do right now? Uh, I've been talking to hun hundreds of businesses uh, and I'm more than happy to share any insights that I've had might be relevant to perhaps do a news story and that makes you an instant celebrity on the TV. So yes, you can do that. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Uh, any other questions? I'm happy to answer uh, other questions. Otherwise, I'm going to say thank you uh, for being here. If you haven't already, uh, if you go to consultingunleashed.com, um, uh, it's better if I do that in uh, another color. If you go into consultingunleashed.com forward slash go, uh, it'll give you access to the YouTube channel. We are uploading all these videos. In fact, I think three videos went up yesterday. So lots of content, lots of ideas, lots of tactics, lots of strategies. We are going to upload this one uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, it gives you access to the YouTube channel. If you have to subscribe to Consulting Unleashed, the Facebook group, uh, go and join the Consulting Unleashed Facebook group because we are posting these videos in the group. Uh, um, we are also, uh, I've got, uh, what else have I got on that page? There's a couple of things that I've got there where you've got access uh, this uh, session, by the way, everybody here, if you can only do me one small favor, please invite other people to come along uh, to these sessions. I want to help as many people as possible. Dan, good to see you. Will there be a recording of this and other past Zoom calls? Dan, there are recordings in the Consulting Unleashed Facebook group and there are recordings on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you hit the notification button, you'll be notified when the videos come up. So if you want to check out the last 14 days, dude, go and jump into the Facebook group uh, because there's a lot of content in there. Uh, as I said, these replays are happening every day. So I really appreciate you hopping on, Dan. Uh, it'd be great to have you in the group. If you're not in the group already, Ready? Um, so just go to consultingunleashed.com forward slash go. Uh, if you know of anybody in the market or if you know anybody that needs help uh, and to, to, to get some positive encouragement, uh, but more importantly, probably to have the most optimistic conversation you'll have every single day, that is what I want to bring to you. Uh, I want to make this practical and pragmatic to make sure that you generate as many clients as you can uh, so that you're staying in business. Remember, the goal is to go and get one, one paying Paying client. That's all you got to do. One paying client in the next two weeks. Now, if you get two, that's awesome, right? One a week, right? But get to your next client. That's all you got to focus on. Every day you wake up and say, who's going to be the next customer? Who's going to be the next customer? Who's going to be the next customer? Every single day. 
do that every day, you're gonna, do, you're gonna be awesome. I'll guarantee you're gonna make sales. We've had a whole bunch of people in the last few weeks make sales in this, uh, in this group. So if you wanna go and listen to some of the tactics and strategies that people are talking about and sharing, go back. Uh, the last thing I'll say is please reach out to one person in your network, uh, say hi, ask if they're okay, uh, get on a call with them, have a quick chat, say, hey, can we have an optimistic, have a positive conversation? Uh, just want to uh, make sure, one, you're okay, two, it'd be nice to have a, a, a nice chat and a reconnect. Reach out to one person a day, make sure you connect with those people, make sure that you uh, give some uh, level of a smile and a bit of gratitude out there. Thank you for being here. I will be here same time, same bat channel tomorrow, same channel, same time, 8 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, sorry, not 8 a.m. It is 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is 8 a.m. in the Australian Eastern Standard Time in the morning. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'm looking forward to delivering a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow, uh, reconnecting with some friends uh, and, uh, 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 and those of your ear, here, here, here. And like I said, if you can just share this with uh, other people you believe who should be on these calls. I really appreciate that. Uh, so with that, I want to thank you. I look forward to seeing you too tomorrow. Take care, everybody.